Hey everyone, it's TikTok XM45 here and doing another video actually quite soon after, the, after my previous video. Uh, the only main reason I'm actually doing more of these videos is because I'm actually stress testing out these batteries I got. Now these are pretty chunky, heavy Sony Cam, uh, Sony Handycam uh, batteries I got from eBay. Now these retail for about $200 here in Australia, but I got the, I got these for 30 bucks each. Uh, they could be counterfeit batteries, not genuine ones I think. That said, I'm taking a whole bunch of these to Japan and hopefully they do last me for the two to three hours continuous recording that it does claim on the eBay listing. So hopefully it does help help me there. But anyways, getting to the point of this video, I'm doing pretty much my honorable mentions for gaming this year. Now, I haven't been gaming quite a lot this year um, compared to previous years. Uh, you know, I'm busy these days now. I've got a job. Got to manage uni as well. <laughs> not they're not doing that well in uni, but I'm, I'm you know I'm still in it. So I think you know just going through all the games I've played this year and just picking out pretty much five slash six of the games I thought were the best, the stands out for me. And the first one, first game I'll start with would be I, I've rave rave about this game so many times already, but um yeah you've seen it already. You've seen it in my previous videos. I keep talking about it, you know, it's the best game on Connect, and it is still the best game, I think, on Connect. It is Dan Central. Dan Central, one of the most fun, the most embarrassing game you'll be probably ever play on the Connect. You know, you, you look like an absolute idiot, you look, it's embarrassing, but you know, who gives a shit? You're having fun, people around you are having fun. It's great fun. That's all I say. Full stop. I'll give this game about 8 out of 10. It's got great songs in it, you know, it's more, it's more mainstream songs. So it won't cater for everybody, but it does who do have the oldies, like uh, I think it's called Bill De DeVito, Poison, I'm hoping I got that name right, I can't remember what it was, uh, one of my friends is going to kill me about that, but it does have the you know, more oldie, oldie songs, the more mainstream songs these days now, the dance moves are really fun to do, it's a very easy to game, any body can pick it up, play straight away, and then you know, to have fun. Uh, next game on my list that gets an honorable mention for me is Rock Band 3. It's a great music game. They introduced a new instrument to this game, which is the keyboard. And the keyboard is so damn hard to play. Even on easy, even on easy, uh, lo most a lot of people would have troubles playing with it. But it's still fun. It's really, really fun. Uh, compared to, say, Guitar Hero, which Guitar Hero has been coming out every single year now from Activision. Guitar Hero to me seems really boring, it's just rehashed material. Whereas in Rock Band, they always somehow improve it. You know, it's, you know, sometimes very, very fine improvements. In Rock Band 3, I thought they took a huge step forward. With one, the keyboard. Two, the pro modes you can actually do with the, with the instruments. The pro guitar, we can actually learn how to play chords, certain chords on the guitar. As It's pretty much as close to playing real music, playing on the actual real guitar. With the drums, they added the new cymbal notes now, where you have to hit a cymbal this time around. You can't hit red or green. You got to hit red pad, green cymbal, for example. With the keyboard, you actually got to use a full keyboard. It's actually I'm no, I don't know how many keys it was. I think it's about 30 keys. Could be more than that. But you got to play the entire keyboard. And uh, finally, I'm not sure if it's pro vocals. There could be pro vocals. But yeah, there's pro guitar, pro keyboard, and pro drums. It's as close as training. It's Almost learning how to play the instrument properly. Rock Band 3 gets an honorable mention from me. One of the great music games this year. The next game on my list that also gets a honorable mention will be Battlefield Back Company 2. This is a great, great multiplayer game. I played this game a lot with my workmates. It's great fun. It's something you will want to play as a team. You will want to go online, join other people, play with them. It's not, say, as like Core Duty where everybody's just concerned about themselves, their kill-death ratios. This game is all about teamwork, squad play. You need to work in squads to get the objectives done, to get the victory for your team. Otherwise, if you do go lone wolf in this game, you most likely die a lot, and your team will lose. It's all about corporations around your teammates. The single player in this game now, it's gone a more serious route compared to the Bad Company 1 storyline. The Bad Company One story alone, people said it was the force. It's kind of forced humor. I personally didn't think it was forced humor. I thought the humor was pretty good. It was actually, you know, great. I, 
I loved it actually. It was kind of sad to see that kind of humor, the fame from the first game didn't move on to the to Bad Company 2. Uh, the ending of Bad Company 2, if you haven't seen it before, I wouldn't tell what it is as, you know, some people think they haven't played it yet and I don't want to give any spoilers out. But the ending of Bad Company 2 is a giveaway to a sequel. It's going to be Bad Company 3, most likely. If I don't make it, then that ending was <laughs> pointless. I think it made no sense at all. But the multiplayer is where it shines. Get this game, it's pretty cheap. And probably next week, I think they are releasing the Vietnam DLC as well. Which adds a lot more value to this game. More maps, more guns, a new you know, Vietnam theme. So get this game as well. I give Battlefield of Outcoming to an honorable mention for this year. The next game on the list, uh, everybody has this game already on their list. That's it. That's all I'll say. Call of Duty Black Ops. Everybody loves Black Ops. Everybody loves Call of Duty. It's a staple for most gamers these days now. The single player, uh, a lot of people I've heard actually don't like the single player, which is, I actually kind of find it quite weird. I actually do love the, the, the single player in this game. It's probably second best to Modern Warfare. Uh, Modern Warfare COD 4, you know, everybody knows as one of the best campaigns you play in a COD game. I believe Black Ops was second best, really. It played out like a really good action movie in a way. May not be an A grade movie, but it was a, at least a B grade movie, movie for me. Great characters. Personally, I thought it was great characters. It's, it panned out pretty well. Uh, I did like the whole, you know, uh, you're being interrogated by some people from, you know, it could be the CIA. And you, you go back, flashbacks to, re, to recount the events that happened. I thought it was a great idea. Multiplayer, multiplayer is still the same as you know from the previous COD series. Everybody's out and concerned about the kill death ratio. It's all about lone wolves, no team play. Go out, kill as many people as you as you if you can. Get the best perks, get the best weapons, and you own the game. That's the problem with COD. I'm starting to drop out a bit on the multiplayer because it does get boring when you one you get to such a high level that you're just pretty much invincible. Or two, you are such a low level that it just gets annoying just to try to kill people because they do have the better guns or the better perks. But Core G Black Ops for the single player and for so so for the multiplayer gets an honorable mention for me for this year's gaming. The next game on the list that gets an honorable mention for me would be it's probably this game this year's most buggiest, most Accident prone, it crashes a lot, it probably plays out like a beta, but it was a brilliant game, I loved it. It's Fallout New Vegas. Everybody knows the launch day problems with this game. It was horrendous, you know, game crashes, bugs, glitches, you name it, it happened. I played this game, 20 minutes in, it crashed on me, and after that, I did experience a few game crashing bugs as well. That said, the storyline in this game is pretty damn good. It's a damn good game. It's a pretty good sequel to Fallout 3. I did love Fallout 3, plus all the DLCs. Maybe, for exceptional motherships, the Zeta, but it was a great game, Fallout 3. Fallout New Vegas, um, great new setting on the, you know, the New Vegas area, the Mojave Desert. New characters, pretty... It, the atmosphere is pretty damn creepy, I must admit, in this game. I don't know why, but it feels much more creepier and suspenseful. And the soundtrack is pretty damn good. Um, Fallout 3 does have a pretty good. Uh, Fallout did have a pretty good soundtrack in terms of you know the radios you can tune into, and it has some pretty good songs in them. Uh, what else is I going to say about Fallout? Uh, the problem with Fallout, with Fallout compared to Fallout 3 is that in Fallout 3 you can actually do every almost pretty much every single side quest get to the end and nothing will happen, you wouldn't affect the game much. In Fallout New Vegas, uh, you have factions in the game now. And if you do too many missions for a certain faction, it does kind of lock out the other factions because you've been working for one side too much and they do get suspicious of you. That's a problem. I've been trying to balance out all the side missions. I'll try to do a bit there, try a bit, do another bit there, you know, hopefully to balance it, balance it out. But I got to the point where I was doing too much of one thing, I got locked out, and I had to go either one back to a previous save or two restart the entire game again, which I don't have the time to do so. But that said, Fallout New Vegas, one of the best games I've played this year, it gets an honorable mention from me. If you, don't have, if you haven't played it yet, you don't need to play Fallout 3. Um, it's a completely new storyline. 
do get out, go out and buy Fallout, free, uh, Fallout New Vegas. It's probably one of the most open den. Whatever you do in this game will affect the end story and affect the game all around you. It's one of the best I've played this year, so get, do get it. Now the last game on this list, and it also happens to be what I call my game of the year. For most people, they also they do call it their game of the year as well. It's probably no surprise to most people I, I do pick this game, but the game that gets an honorable mention, but not only an honorable mention, but my also game of the year is Red Dead Redemption, of course. My game of the year, full stop. It's a brilliant game, great atmosphere, great characters, brilliant soundtrack. Love all story. I uh, did love the story in this game. Uh, quite an emotional ending, I will say that. But it was so gripping. Uh, you did get to the point halfway through the game where you know, the main storyline did start to drag down a bit. It's like, why? Am I still playing it? It seems boring, but once you get to the end, it does wrap up pretty well, really, really well. Great storyline. So much things you can do in this game. You can play poker. There's also five finger fillet, I believe that's what it's called. You can go around. It's like GTA in the in the West. That's what most people call it. Personally, I think it's GTA mechanics refined. I'm not a fan of GTA 4. I'll say that I wasn't a fan of GTA 4. I didn't really like it. I haven't even finished GTA 4 yet. Uh, there's a lot of things in the game that just pretty much gave me the shits, uh, especially shooting system for GTA 4 just absolutely fucking pissed me off good. Um, in Red Dead Redemption, Redemption, it felt much better. It felt more refined, you know, you could lock onto somebody and actually adjust it well. In GTA 4, I couldn't really do that, it was really annoying. Also, even though, you know, it's set in the early 1900s, there isn't that much technology. You get basic guns, you get horses. You can see people when those kind of carriages. You might later. I think you do later on get into the car as well. But it's very brief. But in a way, having less means that more can get refined. If more gets refined, it's a better game, for, in my opinion. Red Dead Redemption, my game of the year. I'll say that is the best game ever this year, and in a long time actually. I will say. The multiplayer, I've played a bit of the multiplayer, I wouldn't say it's the best multiplayer. It is fun after a certain while. The co-op is pretty great. The competitive side is pretty fun. Um, I haven't got the other DLCs. I think there's one called the Lies and Cheats DLC. I haven't got that yet. But the other DLC, which is the Undead Nightmare, I have got that. And I did play halfway through it so far. And it's brilliant. Play, if you do have Red Dead Redemption, get the Undead Nightmare expansion pack or DLC if you want to call that. It is brilliant. You do get pretty much a brand new storyline. It's kind of an offshoot though, but it is a kind of a brand new storyline. And it is great. It is a gripping, gripping storyline. Zombies in this game are pretty damn hard to kill. They're coming to you, coming towards you in hordes. Sometimes do get it does get a bit overwhelming, but it's still damn fun. DLC, the Undead Nightmare DLC, get it. It's great fun. Even if you don't get the DLC, the original storyline in Red Dead Redemption is brilliant. It's worth the 70 or 80 bucks you'll pay for it, or in our case in Australia it was $89. It's worth, it is worth the money, it is brilliant. So Red Dead Redemption to people at Rockstar Game San Diego, I say congratulations to you. You get my game of the year in my personal opinion I do believe most a lot of gaming websites will agree with me such as GameSpot they I believe they will give them the game of the year Spike TV's VGA's I think they'll give Red Dead Redemption uh, the game of the year it is so refined it's you will never I think you'll never find a game such as this again maybe you know uh, San Diego uh, Rockstar San Diego will come back uh, Rockstar San Diego sorry will come back and do Red Dead Redemption 2 and if they do do that, I'll be there to play it as well. Um, but anyways, that'll be it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, hopefully I can do more videos in the future. I'll definitely do try to squeeze in a day-to-day -day video on my Japan trip. But anyways, I hope to see you in, in the future with more videos. See you. Take care.